Hello, YouTube. Okay, I see I'm going to put my glasses on right away. I try not to wear them. I might be okay for a little while. Let's see. We'll, we'll see what happens. I am Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are a Reality. And this channel is all about light and love. It's all about giving information, positive information to help you with your life. And it doesn't just have to be about relationship stuff or about your mental health. I can also branch into how buying a house or, you know, getting a, a good job. I can share other tips that I have learned and things that I am learning. So this channel is all about growth in any shape, form or fashion. It's really all about dreams. Dreams are reality. Okay. So today I want to talk about the NACA program, which stands for Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America. I did one video on that. I did the workshop back in February, at the end of February of this year. And my second appointment, at those of you that follow NACA knows that that's with the NACA counselor. This appointment is a two and a half, three hour appointment, which mine was well into three hours. Very informative, helpful, and it basically gives you the foundation for what you're going to need to buy this home. Okay, so if you're new to hearing about NACA, it's a program that helps people buy a home. And it's not like for low income only because they have, um, you can make good money and still qualify for this program. Oh, my light went out a little bit. I have a little ring light. It kind of went down. But anyway, um, this is a great program. No money down. Now, let me clear that up. No down payment is needed but you do have to come up with other monies. I will explain that as we go further into the video. But anyway, this is my second meeting that I have with my NACA counselor on Monday, March 21st. So today I want to give you some tips for prior to getting to this meeting. First things first, sign up for that workshop. It was a four hour workshop on Zoom and it was over 300 of us in the room. Now, with COVID getting better, it could be live. I'm not sure. I don't want to give out bad information. I'm in Illinois. So wherever you live, check it out. Go to NACA.com, N-A-C-A.com. Sign up for the workshop and, and you see after that. But it is all throughout the United States. So tip for preparing for prior to your meeting once you've done that workshop, stay on that workshop. Don't get off early because you are going to get a code. This code will, call, will allow you to be able to sign up for your web file. Your web file is your electronic file that holds all your documents, your pay stub, your dependent information, your job information. It is, it is your file. So you're going to be needing this. This is very important. Make sure you stay on that workshop. Get your code. This is what you're going to have up when you talk to your counselor on the second meeting, step two. So if your counselor is late or don't show up, please advocate for yourself. Call the number 425-602-6222. This is their intake number. The people on the line are quite um, kind and they are going to find your counselor for you. Don't you worry. Mine was a little bit late and I started to panic because I had been reading negative comments and positive comments. I just don't go to the negative, but it made me nervous. Like, oh my God, I took off work because I took off work because my appointment was at 2 p.m. and I wanted to dedicate the time to this appointment and not be disturbed by people coming to my class and stuff. So that's why I did that. Um, if that happens to you, call that number, which I did. The lady was so gracious. She said, I got a hold of her. She is running slightly behind. She'll be right on. Sure enough, the Zoom got emailed to my email address, jumped on. We was on there for three and three something hours. I got lucky. I got very fortunate. I ended up with the, the lady that helped present the workshop. So I knew I'm like, I'm in great hands because she was on the workshop explaining a lot of things. And I know she knows her stuff. So I was quite happy. And it was a great, great appointment. You can, okay, once you get your web file and get everything going, once you upload every document, you know, everything you have after the workshop, you can do your appointment online. It has an appointment tab. Click on it, 
Book appointment, yes. And you should have several dates and times. Book it that way if you want to. Or you can book it by calling that number. However, again, if, if your appointment comes up March 31st, it's 2 p.m., 2.10, 2.20, no email for your Zoom link, call that number. They will get a hold of your counselor. So I think people are running into problems. I don't want to speak on stuff I don't know about. I know at one point they said they were overwhelmed. They have more people than counselors. So far, so good for me. So I could just only speak on what I'm going through. I have a former church couple. Um, they just closed on their house with NACA. My sweet um, God sister in California who told me about this, Her, she has two friends that went through NACA and got homes. So it, it is a good program. Okay, you have to put on the specs here. Please have all your documents in a cloud drive. So if you do the Google Drive or me, I just bought me a nice little flash drive here. And this way I can always be prepared. I had this plugged in when I met with my counselor. Some documents that I uploaded did not convert over to PDF. She was able to um, tell me I need this, I need that. And I was popping them documents into my web file. If you are older, not to knock the older people because I'm kind of in that, getting in that range. If you are not tech savvy, if you are maybe like more, you know, you don't use the computer that much or blue collar work, you don't use the computer hardly. Get you a young teen or young adult to help you convert that stuff to PDF and upload. Don't let that stop you from not getting a loan. I think that's what's happening. People are getting frustrated and not completing everything. Don't let that stop you. Be patient, be positive, be persistent. I can think of a lot of P's, but don't let that stop you because I think that might be some of why people are saying it's real difficult. But have all your documents. Okay, so let's get started. Documents needed for the web file are, it's going to say other documents. It's a tab. Uh, that's where you put your letter of explanation. This is going to be a lot of stuff. Um, if you had a late bill, you have to do a letter of explanation. Why? I'll give you some of the examples I had. I had um, my addresses. I had several addresses because I moved and they had a false address, a P.O. box. So I got that taken off right away with Experian, but also I put that on my letter of explanation. Also, I had two different names. I was married um, over 22 years ago. So that name came up as well as my name, Tammy C. Walker. So I had to show my birth certificate as well as the divorce decree and I do a letter of explanation. And it's a many other, you're going to have a lot of letter, letters of explanation. Just get ready to upload a lot under that tab because my counselor said, if anything, put it under there because she don't know to go to that tab. But also, if you have divorce papers, it goes under that other documents tab, cash flow information, tax transcripts, I think maybe like a work permit, other things. Okay, because so it's going to be several tabs. This is still part of that. After you do your workshop, you get your web file. So you're getting this all prepared for the second appointment, which is what I just had done. Hope I'm making sense because I talk a little fast. The other tabs will be um, like an information tab. So that's going to be the applicant that's applying. Could be a couple, you know, two people. Voter registration. They want you to be a voter. Put your card and information under that tab. Your income, W-2, like in my case, that's what I have. Also, I work a part-time job as a 1099 therapist, so I have 1099s as well. Upload all of that. You need your last two years of the W-2, so I did 2020, 2021, last 30 days of your check stuff, so keep uploading that. And um, again, 1099 if you're self-employed, 2021, 2020 for me, Okay. Um, again, I left that information, have all your documents in that cloud or on your flash drive like me. Um, okay. Another, some more things that are going to be in that web file. You're going to have to do an e Equal Credit Opportunity Act, ECOA. It's quick. You just sign electronic signature, photo ID, your driver's license, state ID. If you have dependents, you have to put that in there. Your employment information, which I want to say is two years or more. And your bank stubs is your last 90 days. 
some more tabs. It's going to be other income. If you have that, your last two years of tax returns for me, 2020, 2021. Bank account information like your account number, saving, savings account number. Again, those bank statements of 90 days, your residential history, um, your debt. So if I have 10 accounts, then I should have 10 statements there times three because they want three months. So that will be 30 statements in all. You also are going to have a tab where you put your checking account information where they can pull your credit report. So your membership fee is $25 per year. They're going to pull that before your appointment. $16.81 comes out for the credit report. So that was done like prior to my appointment. They're going to pull your credit on spot on this second appointment. Um, so get ready because they're going to pull it. And with this program, it's not all about that credit score. You can have, I, I, please don't. Get me wrong, but I do believe I saw lowest 580. Um, I think that's correct. Definitely 620, but 580, I think that's right. And they go by your late payments and your salary. It's all encompassing. It's not just, okay, credit score is 602, you out. Or um, you have four late payments, you out. They do, they're going to look at everything and put you on an action plan to get you to the home ownership so don't get discouraged okay let me move on to the next slide so let's get to the nitty-gritty second step the appointment with the NACA counselor this is what happened during my intake your counselor is going to go over all the documents and what are miss what documents are missing your income how much do you actually earn per month and then once we figured that out where do you want to live, Tammy? And I named like probably six or seven suburbs outside of the Chicagoland area in the area I live in now. And this MFR, I was like, what is that? These are the minimum funds required. It's not just um, no money down. Oh, just show up like, okay, I don't have no money down. I'm good. I'm cool. No, that's not how it goes. You have to have some money down. Okay, so I do have a, a slide that's going to talk about that. Although not the NACA program is no money down, that means no down payment for that loan. But you have to have earnest money. Let's say you see your nice home that you like, and you know in this market, it's a seller's market. You see a house, you want to probably make that bid right away because there are 10 of you going to put in this um, offer. So you see something you know you like, like me. I like a two-bedroom, two-bath townhome. If I can get like a basement and a garage, and I must have a laundry, you know, in, in well, most townhomes already come with the washer dryer in there. Those are things I really want. Some, every now and again, I might see three bedrooms, but it's just me. So two-bedroom, two-bath, as long as it's spaced out nicely. And if I have a basement too, a nice new kitchen. It's certain things that really draw me in. I'm putting in an offer because you don't want to say, well, okay, Saturday, I see the house. Mm, I really liked it, but I'm going to wait. No, throw your, throw your offer in because those things go fast. Literally, I can see a house. Now I'm just casually looking. The next two days, it's already, it says pending or contingent. So people are moving fast. That's why you need money, earnest money. Here in Illinois, $1,000 would do. If you really want to make it juicy, add 2000 That's the check you write out for the seller to say, hold this house. I really want it. Hopefully, once your real estate agent puts in your offer, it's accepted. You need a home inspection. NACA is not going to finance this house if the, the roof is leaking, the electrical um, wiring is not up to code, you know, things are not good. Then you're buying a money pit and you don't want to do that want to get the home inspection they're going to have you do it anyway five hundred dollars what if they miss something oh we need to go back home reinspection additional fifty dollars homeowners insurance you have to have an insurer god forbid fire flood or whatever and i don't even know about the flood because i remember here some of the flood insurance didn't even cover some of the suburbs we have here but anyway homeowners insurance is a must-have six hundred dollars you need 
real estate taxes, $500. So you see where all this money is coming from. Then the PITI, which stands for Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance. You need a month of that. So that's $1,200. I'm giving you a rough draft, but I have to come up with around this amount, $6,300. So it's not just show up at the table with nothing. You have to have these funds in place. Let's say you don't have it. It's March, like it is. And you want to buy your home by August or July. Can you come up with that money? Get 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 to hey, do whatever you need to do. Maybe you're one of the fortunate, blessed people that has family with money and they will gift you this money. Maybe you have a late income tax refund coming. There you go. Maybe your job is giving out bonuses. Be be positive and be open because there's a lot of good stuff happening right now with these jobs. They really need people. You may get a bonus or can you do Uber? I had to do Uber when I was in grad school. I made six, seven. I was I'm, I didn't do it go as high as seven hundred. Definitely four hundred to six hundred a week part time. So maybe you can do that if you don't want to pick up people, which I get it. Do the food, and I know someone said they made eight hundred a week with DoorDash. You can do that. You see how quick eight hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. You had that sixty three hundred in no time flat. But they're going to give you a chance to come up with it. You cannot get qualified with your loan until your money is there. That minimum funds require MFR. Once that's there, then they can push you on through for the qualification once, once you put in all of the paperwork that they are asking. This is financed by Bank of America. So you, you know, you definitely want to have your ducks in a row. Afterwards, you're going to get an action plan, and I don't know how much of this you can see. I have mine here. I know they just had me in a little circle, but this is my action plan that I got. Second appointment. She's going to make sure it's emailed right to you along with these are the items you need to work on. This action plan will show your budget surplus, your monthly savings amount, financial management is going to show your rent amount your monthly income, monthly expenses, monthly liabilities, total liabilities. I got to tell you all something about that. Total assets, minimum. There's that minimum required funds. I might have said it backwards. MRF, minimum, minimum required funds, not minimum funds required. And your late payments. Uh, okay. I had Experian Boost. So I was trying to use my utilities to boost my score even more. It wasn't a good idea because when she ran my credit, it um, showed up. Yeah, it showed up on my credit, of course, my utilities, because I had that boost and it looked like $400 more of debt per month. So that kicked down how much house I could afford. She was like, get that off of there right now. You know, get that off as soon as possible. I just went right into my experience and started to undo this boost, undo this boost. So once I undid Netflix, Hulu, Com Ed, which is our electricity here in Illinois, um, AT&T, my internet, AT&T, my cable part, and I had two more, two more, maybe my gas company and one more. It took off $400. So she said, see, now you, your debts don't look as bad and you can afford more home because my debt is my student loans and my credit cards but and my truck, my truck. So once I took that off, it opened up that window. So if you were doing like me using your utilities to boost your credit score, undo this for this process because it's going to look like you have even more debt. And as you see, mine in total 400 bucks. That was a big savings when you're talking about paying 1400 a month, 1500 a month for a house. Now I can afford more house. So beware of that. And if you have your credit locked like me, I keep my experience locked. I had to unlock it right before she ran it. Remember to unlock it or else she wouldn't have been able to get you. Could, it's a quick fix, but just to save you some trouble. So items from my action plan, like I was telling you, I have 20 things I need to do. Um, I needed to correct the address. Well, you have to do a letter of explanation for these things, which I did. Verify my names. I did a letter of explanation. Bank statements. I'm still working on because I just got my other bank statement. And then... I see her again on the 4, 29, April 29th. I'll probably have two more bank statements by then. I have three credit cards I need to pay off. They're small. One of them is already paid off. Then the other two 
I need to get them down to zero. Explain the credit inquiries. I already did my letter of explanation. I bought a treadmill two months ago, so I had to explain that inquiry. Anything after 120 days, you don't have to explain. Any inquiries before 120 days, you don't have to explain. I have to explain some old late payments. I have to do it. I didn't do that yet. Minimum required funds, I'm still gathering that. Payment shock. So if your rent is $1,200, but you want a house of $1,400, you need to sock away $200 a month to show I can afford this additional money. Me, I was trying to keep mine not too far from what I'm paying in rent. I just don't want to be house poor and, and just scraping and scraping over a house. I don't like living like that. I like to travel. I like to buy bulls tickets. I like to, um, you know, save some money for retirement and for me and take a trip. I just like to enjoy life. So I don't want to be too tight over a house. Um, I have to, oh, I fixed that too. My student loans, they had to make sure that they are income driven because that's how my amounts look. So I pulled those documents showing that and uploaded that. Um, I have a few things to upload. Some stuff I have to keep doing until our next meeting. So I had like 20 things to do. And I think I did like nine. And I have to do one, two, three. I think it's like three things I want to do this weekend. Yeah, I think that's right. So I, I did pretty good with my list. And some of them, it's an ongoing thing, like the funds and what else? The bank statement, you know, you're going to be ongoing with that. But yeah, she's going to, or he <laughs> could be a guy. They're going to lay out your action plan and it really helps you see the light. I like this program. It's, it's been going good for me. I can't speak on other people's behalf. I can only speak on what's happening with me. I'm very pleased. I feel like it's thorough. I feel like they are explaining things well. They're giving out good information. They're giving you a blueprint. So you just have to follow their lead. Be patient. Be positive. So my next follow-up session is April 29th. And just make sure you work on all your action plan items before that session. Like I said, I had 20. Keep saving your money wherever your check is deposited in that checking account. Make sure that is where you're filtering your savings. Don't go under your mattress putting out a wad of cash and saying, oh, here. I mean, they, they want to know where this money is coming from. So you want to keep everything in line where you're not looking shady. Um, again, this this file is getting ready for the bank for Bank of America, and you want your stuff to be on point. Also, with your rental payment, make sure it's coming straight out of your checking account. So, in closing, these are my personal tips. Be sure to advocate for yourself. If something is off, again, your appointment they didn't show up. Don't say I knew this wasn't going to work. They said they said they was having trouble. They are busy and they are really trying to work with us and help us. If they are late, I would say just be patient and try to give them a chance to get to you. Personally, block off four hours. I would. If your appointment is at two, make sure two to six you're free. That way you can get your stuff done and you won't have to reschedule because that's just pushing you further back. And um, always advocate for yourself. Always ask questions. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what this PITI is. Read the book. They have um, under the NACA.com, NACA.com. It's a purchase tab and it has all the information like PDFs and books for to help you. So if you're not sure, you keep reading through those books. Oh, that's what I put on here. Read through the purchase workbook and a qualification workbook. That'll help you. Please follow instructions. If they tell you to upload something, do it. If you're on that Zoom, that first call, that um, Zoom meeting, they're going to have the chat. They may ask you where you live, whatever. Put it in the chat. If you have a question, go to Q&A. I saw people crisscrossing stuff. Not following instructions. I just think people don't understand listening is like one of the most important things you can do when you need to get something like this done. When you're learning stuff at work, when you're learning stuff at school, Period. Your hey, your personal relationships, you gotta listen to each other. Not trying to fuss, but I just want you to be able to do this in a manner where you get your house. Cause that's what you're trying to do at the end of the day. You want your house. Be patient. Okay, I'm going my house for August 30th, 2022. Well, it might end up being October. Try to have some flexibility in case it doesn't go quite the way you want it to go. Don't think like I'm not gonna never get it. I knew this was gonna happen. Man. 
things happen and maybe, you know, sometimes God's rejection is our protection and it's getting you a better deal in a couple of months. You're going to see a better home. You're going to have more money saved. Whatever delays it, delayed is not denied. That's how I say it. Just stay positive. I just noticed that helps better. I hope everything I said helped you and gave you some inspiration. If you've been hearing a lot of negative stuff, I would say go for it. If you definitely, if you have that, that window, if you have six months or nine months or 12 months, go for the NACA program and just take advantage of this. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, Make America big bank. Um, You know, you're in good hands with these great workers I just think it's a win-win for you and your family. You deserve this. All righty now. Leave me some questions and comments. Um, I don't know what I put there. Leave questions and comments session. Okay. I will gladly respond. Be happy to help in any way if I can get you some answers. Subscribe to my channel. I have some new subscribers. I am so blessed. Thank you all so much. And hit that like button, please. And thank you. And I think that's going to wrap it on up. Of course, I am Tammy Cherise Walker, owner of this fine channel, Dreams Are Reality. Find your home. It is a dream and it is your reality. Have a beautiful night. Bye.